We good? Go. Oh. Okay. Okay, so what have you been up to for the past year? Are you sure it's on? Yeah, it's on. Okay. <laughs> what have I been up to the past year? Yeah. Okay, in a nutshell, I went to Seattle and worked on commercial music at IQ Beats and Voodoo. I uh, did six times the amount of milk art, which was really cool. I was in the studio with Easton, I headlined the Florida Music Festival, wrote the commercial music with Mark, um, showcased in Chicago at the, at the Music Revolution Festival, I, um, dude there's so much, <laughs> um, did a music video for the song Us, toured the scene aesthetic, uh, started working on a new band. Started doing my own music, uh, got a puppy, started reading, because I didn't used to read. I mean, not that I couldn't not read, I started reading for fun. And um, what else did I do? I went to New York and recorded drums on my friend's hip hop album. Um, gosh. I did another music festival with another singer songwriter. Um, I lived, I went to the beach a lot with my friends. I was around on my birthday with my family for the first time in like four or five years. And uh, what else? I got a, I got a new MacBook because um, my friend that I was staying with in New York, the cat spilt water on it the day after I got it. <laughs> so that was waste of two thousand dollars <laughs> and that's about it okay that was my year very interesting thanks oh i got a new tattoo too in the new story of your life what would the headline say new story of my life what would the headline say um born again the worst advice you've ever gotten worst advice i've ever gotten i don't know i don't really get bad advice but good advice worst advice i've ever gotten yeah. All right. Um, Eric on the store advised me <laughs> that, and I and this is this is like Eric in a nutshell. But I, for whatever reason, just believe him every single time. He advised me that because I was saying I was starting to feel sick, and he's like, "Well, if you want to feel better, he's like, you just gotta eat a teaspoon of cinnamon and nutmeg every single day." And if any of you guys have ever seen that on YouTube. Oh and then you know what happens when you eat a teaspoon of nutmeg and cinnamon. So that, that was bad advice Definitely. that I took graciously. Okay, so now that you're reading, what book do you think everyone should read? Hmm. I'm reading like five right now, and I should read all of them. Um, five People You Mean in Heaven is a really, really good book. I also would really recommend Squirrel Seek Chipmunk. It's uh, it's Love the David Sedaris. yeah, it's the, it's the new David Sedaris, and uh, it's basically everyone should read it because you, you can just read like it's a, it's a whole thing of fables and short stories, so you can read like two or three every time you pick it up. And for me, that's awesome because I don't have a lot of time to read either. Um, but it's it's basically just an entire book about all all the stories are told from animal perspective, yeah. but they're satires and it's dark comedy and it's all things that humans do and that we're so bad at and you you realize like how crippled like our society is and we're such idiots <laughs> so. okay. okay what's one song or artist on your ipod nobody would expect you to have mm -hmm. um hans zimmer he's a uh, He's a song composer for soundtracks and movie scores, and <laughs> he did The Holiday, Pirates of the Caribbean, um, La Cage a lot of a lot of stuff. It's awesome. He did the Inception soundtrack too. Nice. Who would win in a fight, Batman or Wolverine? Wolverine. Why? Why is that? That's a no-brainer. Batman's <laughs> just a regular guy. <laughs> Alright. got toys. I mean, if he, if he couldn't use his toys, yeah. or his weapons or whatever, then then Wolverine would for sure win. I guess if he could use gadgets. <laughs> Alright. You know. That works. Yeah. Okay, if your fans turn into zombies, how do you escape? 
I don't. There's more of them than there are of me. <laughs> if you could be on MTV's Made, what would you want to be made into? Hmm. Better person? <laughs> uh, I would want to be made into a chef, honestly. Nice. Or, or a professional cliff diver. <laughs> Does that work? That That'd definitely be, that works. That would be sweet. Okay, someone's making a movie about your life. Who do you want to play you? <laughs> um, Jude Law or... Did you hiss? Was that a bad one? No. Oh, okay. Don't be All right, hang on. Jude Law, Robert Downey Jr. or... Someone funny, Jim Carrey. Yeah, you have good taste in news. <laughs> if you could guest star on any show, what show and who? What would you want to play? Guest star on any show, Friends, and I'd want to play like a distant cousin or relative of Ross. You just gave like five thousand cool points in my book. Oh, really? I yeah. love Friends. Friends is my favorite TV show of all time. So underrated. Definitely. So underrated. <laughs> if you could change places with one person for a day, who would it be? Um. Chris Martin from Coldplay. Nice. You could have one super ability. What would you be? What would you choose? It sounds so cliche, but I'd want to fly. All right. I don't know how that would work, but you think about flying, you fly. <laughs> You've got 24 hours left to live. What do you do on the last day? Go to the beach. That's it. That's it. Nice. I've, I've thought about that a lot. Actually, it sounds sounds ridiculous, but I don't know. I've I've all I like from a very very young age. I, I was always just like, if the world's gonna end or someone's like, you got 24 hours to live. Yeah. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna sit there waiting to die. You know. Nice. Yeah. All right. Final question. What do you have to say to the fans who have stuck by you for the past year? Wow. You guys must really like me. Cause <laughs> when I was your age, I <laughs> liked different things every single month. So I, I really appreciate it, and you guys m might all not think I do, but I really try really hard to write back to everyone, whether it's on Twitter or my blog or Formspring or via email, Facebook. I, I put myself out there a lot, and I really, I really appreciate your guys' time and, and your support and, and your, your love for, for my art and the things I do, because... I wouldn't know whether what I'm doing is what I'm supposed to be doing if, if I didn't have you guys behind me. And I don't know. At, at the end of the day, you, you may not all think I remember you, but I remember every single one of you. So know that. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you, guys.